acid stain is gonna create a modeling. And you can really do this with dye too. It doesn't matter really what the stain, water-based stain, they all kind of have, they're gonna create some kind of a modeling you're gonna see from the concrete. So one of the key things is, is how do you create that modeling for a start and a stop point? Do you make a straight line or do you help the meander of the stain? And so what I typically do is I'll, instead of fitting a straight line straight through this, this corner, I'll start here and I'll make a little bit of a curve and then just kind of create the same kind of modeling that you typically would see from the rest of the stain so that when I come back around, I'll match up to it a little bit better and it won't draw attention to itself. I just want to kind of be careful and kind of follow the same modeling. And if I want to, if I decide to, it just depends on how it kind of looks each time. Sometimes I'll literally just go ahead and overlap like I'm doing right now and just go right by it and do the same thing to the other side. And a lot of times then you won't really see a transition at all.